Hello, this is Malden Police Chief Kevin Molis, and this is a week in which our city has seen three incidents involving gun violence, and I wanted to provide you with some information to inform you. What I would ask you to do when you look at information, I want you to apply a certain standard. I want you to be fair, and that means that you act in accordance with rules or standards and legitimately. I want you to act reasonably, making your conclusions based on good sense. I want you to think objectively in a way that's not influenced by personal feelings or opinions, and I want the information to be reliable, meaning able to be trusted. And what I also would ask you to do is have some perspective, and that means a particular attitude toward a way of regarding something. So listen to what I'm about to tell you, and please try to apply those standards. In Malden on Tuesday, July 6th, we had an incident happen at 51 Fairmont Street, a shooting in which a 30-year-old female was killed inside a home based upon the great work of our detectives, the state police, and members of the Middlesex County District Attorney's Office. The evidence was gathered and the suspect was taken into custody. He faces a multitude of charges, including murder, and our thoughts and our sympathy goes out to the family of the victim and all those that are affected by it. On Wednesday evening, last night, we had a 30-year-old male who was shot on Arch Street in our community. This was not a random incident. There was a reason, a connection between the perpetrator and the location. The victim was brought to a hospital where surgery was successful and he will survive, thankfully. I want to let you know, again, based upon the response of the patrol officers, the investigation by the detectives, that suspect is also in custody. And then early this morning, in an apartment building, 99 Florence Street, police responded to an incident where an adult female was the victim of a single gunshot wound, suffered inside their apartment that she shares with her family a male licensed gun owner who lives in the apartment was arrested. The victim was transported to a hospital, underwent surgery, and is expected to recover, thankfully. When you look at these three incidents individually and you apply a fair, reasonable, fact-based analysis using reliable information, I hope that you will conclude that these events are unconnected and not indicative of criminal activity that is linked to any particular individual or group. Perspective. I want you to also look around us. Sunday, June 27th, Winthrop, Massachusetts, a shooting rampage that left three people dead. Saturday, July 3rd, Wakefield, 11 heavily armed gunmen involved in a tense standoff with state and local police. And then Monday in Somerville, a 16-year-old girl was shot and critically injured while walking her dog in her neighborhood. In all these incidents, there was something in common. The police responded. In many of these incidents, two of the ones in Malden, the police responded and employed life-saving measures. Tourniquets were used in two of these incidents. Police officers investigated. I personally witnessed the dedication, the effort, that our detectives put in these cases, the hours that they worked, their commitment to finding the who, what, when, where, and why, and ultimately making an arrest. We are here to protect, to serve, and to save. As I said, tourniquets were used. In all of these incidents, there's some commonalities. Winthrop, Route 128, some of them, our incidents, police responding to and on many occasions facing danger. I often say this, that we are partners in making our city safe. We all play a part. I've given you the facts. I ask you to look at them and absorb them and think of them objectively, fairly, and reasonably. I promise you that the information I give you is always truthful and reliable. These are facts. They don't lessen the sorrow. They don't diminish the pain that people feel. 
but I hope they provide you with some clarity and some reality. You won't get that from those who spread rumors or pretend to know. I use the word reliable when I ask you to look at these recent incidents, and I want to end assuring you of something that you can absolutely rely on. That is on the dedication, the bravery, the service, and the commitment of your Malden Police Department. Thank you.